Hey, welcome to the shop. So the other day I was asked in the comments section on another video, if I could only have one type of welding electrode, what would it be? It was easy for me to answer and I said it's going to be a 7018. Let me show you why this is my favorite electrode to use in my hobby slash side hustle shop. And stick around because I'll also show you some of the disadvantages or maybe some situations where it's not going to be the best choice. Now first of all, let's talk about what a 7018 is. So the 70 and 7018 is the strength in thousands of pounds per square inch. So if you had one square inch of that weld metal, it could lift 70,000 pounds. That's stronger than most mild steel. Now the one means you can weld in all positions and the eight is the type of electrode it is, meaning it's a basic electrode or also a low hydrogen electrode. So let me tell you why I really like it. When you run this electrode, you don't have to do any kind of crazy torch manipulation. You can just run straight along a nice smooth bead straight in a line. And as you do that, it's important to always make sure you have a short arc length. So the length between the end of your electrode and your workpiece, even though your electrode is burning off, keep that short and then use a slight drag angle as you work your way along. It really is easier than other electrodes to see where your weld pool is and read the puddle because the slag will sit back behind your puddle. Now I did a whole video about watching what you're doing and reading the puddle. So if you're having trouble with that, check that out in the description after we're done here. Another thing that's really nice about this electrode is after you finish welding, the slag, while it's a little bit heavier than other rods, comes off in big chunks. So you can be confident that you've got it all off before you run any other passes. And last of all, I really like that it just gives you a nice smooth bead, much smoother than you get with other electrodes. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks of this rod. So the first one is it's a little bit hard to restart. Right, so after you weld with it for a little while, when you go to strike an arc again, it can be really hard. You know, you're trying, 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 and then when it finally breaks through, you might not get what you want. So this happens because you end up with a little bit of slag over the end. And there's a couple of things that you can do about this. The first one you can do is just keep a file or some sandpaper handy and clean up the end a little bit and then it'll be ready to go. The other thing you can do if you want is when you finish your weld, just whip the electrode out really fast and that'll fling anything off the end and then you can just use your glove to crunch some of the extra flux and then you'll have something that'll be ready to start up again uh, much easier. Now another drawback of it is if you're going to weld really thin sheet metal because of the thickness of the flux on a 7018 you end up running a little bit higher amperage and because of this you can overheat some of this thin sheet metal and blow holes right through. The last drawback I'll mention is running a full penetration uh, root pass or if you're trying to weld all the way through so you have a nice bead on the back side, this is much more difficult to do with a 7018 than it is with a rod like a 6010. So while it's possible, it's gonna be a challenge. So there you go, that's my favorite rod. It's a 7018, go ahead and get yourself some. Go try it out, see if you like it as much as I do and let me know in the comments. If you like this video or learned something here, let me know by hitting that thumbs up below. We'll see you next time.